Shall I be productions? Hello, hello everyone. It is me, it is Sharpie Press Potato. Hope you're having a lovely day. We are here today with a game called Dying Light. This is a game that um, I only very briefly played back in the past. Just loaded it up, but uh, never got never got very far at all. I think I got through the tutorial, that was it. So we're going to hop back into this and uh, we're going to check it out, see what it's all about. So uh, this game came out in 2015. It's a survival horror developed by Techland and published by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. So um, it's your typical zombie apocalypse, it looks like. Um, but uh, I think there's uh, there, there is a good story in this. Um, I don't think it's like going to be an amazing like over the top story, but it should be still be good. So um, I've I just went into the tutorial here. So let's do a uh, fresh campaign here. All characters and locations used in this game are fictitious. Any resemblance to real persons and places purely coincidental. There you go. Got to know these things. The eyes of the world have been glued to the city of Haran for the past two months, following the outbreak of a previously unknown pathogen. It is not yet clear what has caused this gruesome affliction. The local government's Ministry of Defense erected a quarantine wall shortly after the outbreak. The global relief effort's steady stream of supply drops has sustained what few survivors remain in the city. The Ministry of Defense believes more radical action should be taken to stem the tide of this virus. The question is, are there still non-infected survivors in the city as the GRE maintains? And if so, will the Ministry still go through with a stated plan to annihilate the city in an attempt to wipe out the Haran virus once and for all. Whether by way of the virus or the Ministry's proposed plan, one thing is certain. Haran's days are numbered. That's pretty cool. I like that kind of intro. Nice. Nice simple little intro there. Gives you the background. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let's get to it. Dying light. There we go. HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Haran. Data on the subject. Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. Yep, in 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the virion structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. That doesn't seem like a good place to land, honestly, but, you know, what do I know? Right next to a burning car, would you? Mm -hmm. Good start. I told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! <laughs> Fall back! Fall back! Whoa. Hmm. 
Oh, nice. Been bitten straight away. So what? Game over? Nasty. That's that's really nasty. Tower, this is Jade. Get sick bay ready. Got a guy with a bad head wound and a bite on one arm. Oh shit, Amir's hurt? No. Amir is gone. But I'm bringing in someone who might still survive. One of us? We'll see. Ah, so she's not going to be very happy with me if uh, I just got her partner killed. But there you go. City of Haran. Pretty cool intro. Like, you know, got to the point. We also got bitten, which is a bit weird. So what, that means that we're on like a, a timer until we turn? Like throughout the game, and at the end of the game, we're going to turn into a zombie or something, probably. We'll see. We shall see. You pinch him. You're scared. Not scared. Then pinch him. He blinked. What? He blinked again. What if he's a zombie? Ah! Zombie. Zombie nation. Zombie nation. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's get to it. Let's get down to business. I don't got no time to muck around. What is this? You sleep for three days like a dead man and scare children? <laughs> Off to a great starter. Yes. Yeah. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Oh, okay, it is. Enough joking around. Get yeah. to room 190. The boss will brief you. That is what paradise. What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss! 31 indeed. Okay, carry on. Let's do this. 31. That's your number. I beg your pardon? Excuse me? Your number. You're the 31st infected. I'm the 18th. Everything is counted here. One fewer doses of antizin. One more new infected. One more runner gone. Oh, come on. Hey, oh, 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 Ronaldo, Ronaldo, CL7. Oh, 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 miss, miss, missy. Oh, that's not me. Okay. Infected and only seven runners left. We can't afford to lose any more people. Seven runners left. Amir died because of this guy? Quiet. Oh, fuck quiet. He didn't look too now good. Now he's going to get Amir's anti-scene. Hey. Where's room 190? Upstairs. Hmm. They don't seem that they're too keen on me. But why? We're just getting picked off one by one. Up we go. Graphics are actually quite nice. They've, uh, because this game isn't like new, new. It's. I'm looking for the boss. Is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in. I don't know what year it came out actually, but um, quite a while ago, like not not recent, like twenty, I'll say like twenty sixteen, maybe twenty, maybe earlier. I don't know. I haven't got uh, I haven't got Google open, but uh, yeah. Either way, I can check. Hey, I'm looking for the. Are you the boss? What, am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I... You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the Tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. 
hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good, because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your antecedent was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know my runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. So now you take the antecedent meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys, thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair. I'm not, I'm not lazy. I'm just, hey, boss. Save it. That last guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave -in. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. Rahim, eh? Okay. So... Remember, kids, don't go out after dark. But it's like, uh, gosh, what was it called? Bar Bar, the elephant on TV. Got some nice uh, zombie horror movies. That looks like Matrix. Is that a Matrix? No. It's... Sasna? I don't know what that is. Anyway, um, see, I like these games where they've... They just... Okay, there's not as much detail in this as Last of Us, but there's a decent amount of detail. We've got insect spray, got some nice liquid hand soap, got a dirty microwave. That needs a good clean coffee. That's what you like. Oh, tea, sparkling water, aqua, mineral. Yeah, nice, nice. What about over here? Oh, some pizzas, mini ravioli. What's this? Veggie. Nice. So, oh, yeah, it's not too bad. Look, orange juice. What, these guys are sorted. Tomato ketchup. Don't need anything else. A big box of flam flammability stuff. What have we got here on the laptop? Oh, he's got a dirty screen there. I don't know if you can see that. Lots of fingerprints. That better be a touch screen, my dude. Anyway, nice uh, lighthouse there. I'm not lazy. Oh. oh, shit. Look at that. That is a good cat right there. That is a good old cat. Like it. Who makes those airdrops anyway? Check on the lost survivor on the 13th floor. Where's the 13th? Are we on the 13th? Yes, that was the 13th floor. There must be a way out of it. Uh, this game came out in 2015, so I was one year off when I said 2016. In here? This guy? Nope. This guy? Nope. This guy? Where do you think you're going? The 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Yes, we do, sir. Yes, we do. Going up. But yeah, for a 2015 game, I know this was like renewed, like graphics, re enhanced. Whoa. Jesus. How many people died here? Too many. Crane here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I, I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antison ASAP, Help! hadn't you? Help! Somebody! What the hell? Ooh, I got a, a stick. Ooh, nice. Press shift to sprint. Okay, nice. Maybe a zombie. 
Whoa. There is. Oh. Did I just knock his head off? Whoa, I did. Look, there's his ear. I don't know if you can see that. That's an ear right there. Oh, wow. Blimey. Go all out. Nice atmosphere. Oh, I like this. Like, that is... For a 2015 game, this is... This is nice, like... You know, you got a nice bit of uh, atmosphere going on here. Got the globe. What about in here? <laughs> Whoa. Well, don't want to be jumping out there, that's for sure. Probably in here where that zombie was. I cut my arm getting away from him. Oh, God. You had to kill him, didn't you? <laughs> God damn it! That was... that was my brother. Oh dear. I came down to see him and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Oh dear, I literally just bashed his brother's head in. That's not the nicest thing to see. Should probably, like, you know, drag that away. That would be quite weird, just looking at a brother laying there. Take care of Mark. Okay. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Gauze. You've got to find some gauze. Oh, and alcohol. Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. <laughs> Please hurry! I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. Consider it done, my dude. You've learned how to craft a medikit. Press T to... Oh, I got a flashlight. Nice, okay. Press Q for survivor sense. Ah, okay, so it's like a scan. zombies so it's kind of like last of us isn't it with like the uh looting and stuff and the little scanner thing as well like what ellie and Al abby had okay not that way if you look on the map as well you can see like yellow areas i think that means that that's where stuff is, maybe. Like quest areas. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. Probably everything. Uh, where was he? In here, wasn't it? Press I for the br blueprints. Blueprints. Medikit. Uh, create. Okay. Oh, that's nasty. Okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes and alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. Roger that. Two fifty. Oh, done thirty-one. Raheem. Which one was Raheem? Oh, Raheem was the guy we spoke to before. So it seems. 31. Not bad for a new guy. Perhaps I misjudged you. Yeah, I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. 
Uh, what was I saying? Uh, after I did that, it looked like I got like experience. So I think this game has like leveling up in it, probably. Similar to like Cyberpunk or something like that. That's a game I really need to play and finish as Cyberpunk. I uh, I started that back on the Xbox, but uh, I sold my Xbox. All right, taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I never please. said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me. Knew that would be brother or sister. Left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. No explosives, Rahim. <laughs> He'll do explosives. So... So, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Okay. Need to go and change my clothes, apparently. 194. Let's have a look at our room. We've got some nice toiletries. We've got some hand, hand cream, face palm, dry skin, hair mask. Wow. We've got some probably tampons there. Not for me. Hand cream, shampoo. Oh, got a good old trusty sponge. Nail. Keep your nails clean. Beautiful. Got some pixelated. Oh, oh no, shower gel there. It's all good. Nice little place. Washing powder. They've got it made here. They've got everything. Who's this guy? My roommate? Hey, Rumi. This me? Player's stash. Hint. This is your player's stash. You can change clothes here as well as leave any items for storage. Mm -hmm. As your survivor rank increases, you will get access to new outfits. Okay. Uh... Change outfit. Fresh clothes. Exotic. Storage. That's what we got there. Should I add this stuff to storage or should I keep that on me? I don't know. Let's just keep it on us for now. We can always drop it. So we change. I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. The it's on the top gym. floor. Just a couple flights up. The gym, eh? Okay. In the lift. Uh, go this way. Zombies like computers. Oh, I missed the joke then. That guy was telling a joke. Oh, this is the gym, is it? Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Those. Jeez Louise, what? Well, what are you waiting for? Get over here. Where is he? Is he over there? Parkour basics. Press and hold space to jump and grab the ledge you're looking at. Remember to look at the ledge you want to grab. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Anything up here first? Always oh, got to do a scan. To feel right at home. A crane on a crane. 
crane on a crane. <laughs> Pretty high. Not going to lie. Not going to look down. Because I'll lose my balance. Even though it's a game. <laughs> Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, all right? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Uh, what? What are you, nuts? I'd kill myself! Don't be a wimp. Oh, come on, you can't be serious! Watch this. Raheem! My leg! Oh, Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. <laughs> I always thought that word, were, uh, that phrase was Christ on a cross, but yeah, apparently later in life I figured it's uh, Christ on a crutch. Jesus Christ on a crutch. We ah! Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> it's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Sounds good. Okay, what are we doing then? Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. Okay. There's no slide though. That seems like a missed opportunity. Oh, what was that? It was like you hold jump. I don't know. Try not to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Not bad. For a noob. You just called me a noob. What a cheeky chap. Up. Where are we going? Ah, up here. on that scaffold and don't fall because there sure as hell ain't no net that's my favorite cat grab and muscle up you won't survive outside for 10 minutes if you can't do that how did i what do i do here we jump on ah okay there's like shimmy as well it's like from tomb raider Look at the ledge, hold W in space to jump and grab it. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Oh. This isn't a time trial because I'm sucking. Okay, so from here. Hold W in space to jump and grab it. Ah, oh, you have to hold space. Okay, I see. Good job. Okay, time for the real test. Get back to the crane. Make use of anything and everything while you run. While I run, okay. Before we get on top of there then. Can't grab that. I went like backwards then or something. Okay, that's enough. You've got some serious natural talent, man. Either that, or you've done this before. You've done this before? I've not Hardly. done this. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. Well, then 
You're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. Ah, he's just being. Whoa. What's happening to me? Crane? Shit. Oh, shit. Crane, talk to me. What's going on? Something went wrong. Rahim, what just happened to me? Oh, shit. I bet you're having your first seizure. Just get back over here. A seizure on a crane, Jesus. Not the best place to have a seizure, but okay. Where is he? There he is. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Seizures remind you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizen. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Okay. Quartermaster it is. It used to be a really nice town, you know? What master in here? Ride the elevator down. All right, they've given me an actual job, and nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. Also, if you randomly see me like looking around like that. It's because yesterday there was a big old spider that was on the wall and it actually fell down un like onto my desk somewhere and then disappeared and I haven't found it or seen it today. I've been working all day here, so yeah, that's why I keep looking around. Quartermaster. Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. <laughs> By the way, the word of the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> mm, okay then. Uh, rusty adjustable wrench. Okay. Take. Lockpick take. Medkit take. Metal parts take. Thank you. Table leg. Got it. Sorted. Battle journal. Who's this guy? Oh, look at this geezer. I'll take the gun, please. Okay, where do we go? Down? Oh, not down that way. Ah, I see. That's the way out. Exit. Through the rubble. Oh, that's cool. So you actually have to climb to get in. That's nice. Nice little touch. Going outside, yeah? Oh, it's like Wolf Sahar. Hey, Wolf Sahar. Hey, hey. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Sounds like Wolf Sahar as well. No, I'm joking. Yeah, it does a bit, actually, to be fair. Okay, we're outside. Okay, noob. 
You've got Dr. Zera set up in a semi-trailer on a fenced-in plane court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sight. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. God, there's loads of them. Already. <coughs> How are we going to do this? <sighs> huh, pretty it looks pretty nice to be fair the only thing i'm not a fan of and, and this is in not just this game but all games is that you see that like lens flare you get when you look at the sun like i don't know it just doesn't doesn't sit right with me don't like it don't know if we can turn it off but uh, oh sure I wonder, can you like sneak past them or? Nope. Oh, they take some killing, don't they? They climb? <laughs> no, they look a bit weird though, don't they? That's quite cool though. Nice, uh, nice touch that they can't. Is that a person? That is. That's probably the geezer I have to meet. Those rotting fuckers never figure out how to climb on top of a van. <laughs> British geezer. Nice. Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms. Here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both Antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, now, where did I put that injector? And who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit. I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case, all right, I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? That guy has a cool vibe about him. I like his uh, sort of, I don't know, Brecht his energy. Most of his best people to protect Raheem, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. Not out to hold you for a while, which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. 500. Oh, skill point. Oh, the skill points. Shops and quartermaster have new inventory. Oh, I keep wanting to jump on that. Okay. <laughs> so we want to head this way. I'm guessing the zombies get a little bit more difficult as time goes on, maybe. Because at the moment, 
they're like super slow, like not even a threat sort of thing, are they really? <laughs> There's zombies on the roof. A clover, nice. Looks like a clown. There we go. Oh, you have to repair your weapons. Interest. Alcohol, coffee, perfect. God, dream. Dream team. Plain pipe. Okay, who am I looking for here exactly? From Rises Men. Oh, that guy. Just I as soon shoot you as look at you. Hey, Spike. I'm Crane. Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One is food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Anderson drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Fair play. Fair play. Uh, what's this? Looting is the key to survive. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Gosh. Going up steps should be the key to spiral. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see that, that lens flare. Really don't like it, not a fan. Okay, first the car. Open the hood, connect the battery, that'll arm the trap. Open the hood. Hey. Jade here. Is anyone outside right now? Urgent help needed. Um, I'm outside. I'm working for Spike. You're Crane, right? Listen, our runner's trying to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Vefa and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. Alright, I'm on it. Oh, look at that chest. It's been like ripped open. Okay. <laughs> parkour, parkour. <laughs> oh, I ran out of energy. Lovely baklava. Don't mind if I do. How do I spend skill points? Let's get somewhere safe first. Before we... Maybe here. Uh, I don't know how to do... Oh, probably I. Skill points? Skills. Here we go. Survivor agility. Ah, I see. So you get one for each thing. Okay, so survival starter kit. That's the first one. So it must lead into different areas. Okay, cool. 
We learned how to craft lockpicks. Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. Oh, it just said I can craft molotovs. Give me a second. I want to craft a molotov. Blueprints, molotov. Alcohol string. Have I got string around here? No string, sadly. How do I equip different items? Here we go. Floor plank. Damage 59. So that floor plank does a lot. Sorry, I'm just struggling with the... I'm trying to figure out how to equip it. Ah, oh, equipped. Here we go. Ah, okay. Table leg 19. What we got? 24, 19, 24. Might as well attach. There we go. Now we've got that. That should be good. You can upgrade as well. The keys are really weird on this, though, you know, because usually on keyboard, it's like you have WASD and then all the keys are around it. But it's like you're pushing like F6 to upgrade. It's like super random. Uh, select. OK. Kill them both. Cigarettes. Alcohol. Oh man, I think it's too late for this guy. Shit. All right. <laughs> Finish it. Ooh. Don't okay, it's done. Fuck. There is a blue one there. Uh, drop that. You had no choice. He wasn't human Gas anymore. Pipe. Now hurry. You st so that, uh, 39 damage. So that will replace that area. Perfect. You will need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. What was he reading? And move. Geek. Lights on. Ah, shit. How's it coming? Got the lights on? Uh, almost. Just give me a second. I need, um, what do you call it, uh, string so I can make some molotovs, that'd be good. Oh man, lockpick, how do I do this? Rotate the screwdriver with the A. Ah, I see. Ah, oh, sugar. Wait, that's it? You get one... Oh, wait. Here we go. Make more. Lock pick. One. Craft. Need to get used to the how it works. Got three now. There we go. Perfect. Coffee. 
Was it worth it? Always. Always worth it for some coffee. <laughs> Crane here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zera. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane. Thank you. Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Got it. Oh, sir, I Infected like her all over the street. So what does that tell you? Keep off the street. Try to stay on the rooftops where they can't reach you. Well, they're all around the car, Spike. You still have some firecrackers, don't you? Just throw some into the crowd. Those dead bastards are easily distracted. How do I throw them there? Uh, with one press middle mouse. Okay. Oh, wrong button. All done with the car, Spike. Keep on like that, you just might make it. Next trap's close by, and I shouldn't have to tell you, but don't get caught out in the open. Spike, these freaks are everywhere. If I need to use a trap, how do I activate it? You can't. I told you, they're only for the night mission. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Getting dark. Agility leveled up. Okay, nice. Let's have a look. So what's this? Dodge incoming attacks by jumping sideways or backwards. Move in the desired direction and press space. Okay. Fair enough. Ooh. Lost a bit of health then. Bugger. I can't move this one at all. Ah, oh, there we go. It's like we're right here. Ah. Oh. There we go. Inventory full, need to drop something. Drop the old table leg. Adjust a full wrench. There we go. Oh, you can dismantle stuff instead of dropping it. Ah, oh, nice. That's good to know. And then you get. Because look, you can only hold like four items but valuables and stuff you can hold like infinite amount so we should loot that and then just dismantle it perfect <laughs> where's this oh this trap's up here uh How do we get over that? Oh, here. <laughs> it's quite a contraption you got here. Three times brighter than an ordinary street lamp. Gives the infected quite the sunburn. Oh, so 
Give me all that freaking spider. Cheeky bugger. Oh, lock picking again. Oh. Ooh. Water pipe. Coffee. Always get coffee. to drop it, I meant to dismantle. There we are. Okay, <coughs> well, let's go. <coughs> 50 quid? Can I throw that? Oh no. <coughs> There's some cool little places set up on the roof, it seems, like little watch posts and stuff. Oh. <laughs> Fell off. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Top of that thing, then maybe here. Gosh, can I make that jump from here? Okay, I guess I can. Okay, lights are all set. You ready for the next one then? Better hurry. Ooh. Oh, wrong way. This way. Oops. Oh wait, it's there. Fuck, Spike, the whole goddamn district went down. What the hell's going on? Ugh, not again. All right, listen. There's a power substation near you. Go check it out. Oh, a substation, okay. Hey, this blackout has really put us in a tight spot. We're defenseless here. Plus the safe zones and some of my traps are down too. We need to get that power up and running ASAP. I'm on it, bruv. Don't worry. How do I get in? Just jump. <laughs> 18 quid. Something's going to attack me, isn't it? Oh my god, I know. Oh dear. What is this? Oh my gosh. What is this? Expect that <laughs> or that. Okay. Jeez, there is. Uh. 
<laughs> oh, maybe I get him to smash that. Smash me, smash me. Oh. Heavy Reaper, blimey, I can use that thing. Whoa. Kick him to death. I've got the substation reset, but if the grid shorted once, you know it could happen again, right? You leave the electrical engineering to me, okay? Just get your ass to a safe zone. You're gonna have to spend the night there. Oh. Gosh, I'm all out. Can I make another? Yes, I can. There we go. Hey, got an achievement. Hoo ha. Okay, anything else? Cigarettes. It's dark. It's a lot scarier when it's dark, isn't it? if the zombies become like more aggressive or something at night. like running on the same floor of the uh, zombies. Uh, let's do the skill point. We got power. What's this one then? Uh, learn how to attack with great precision. Each strike with a blunt weapon to an enemy's head has a chance to stun. Okay. Nice. That's where we're going, I guess. Oh, safe zone. Oh, shit. Well, doesn't seem very safe for a safe zone. The fuck is that? Freaking hey, green goblin. It's Kyle Crane. Crane! What can I do for you? I just saw this freaking weird zombie. He's covered in big green blisters. It, it hauled ass as soon as it spotted me. You know anything about it? Not enough information, I'm afraid. But if you see another one, do let me know, will you? Wow, oh, and that's our safe zone. 
I wouldn't feel very safe in here, honestly, but definitely safer than outside. Play a stash. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. That was a good intro to the game. I am going to head to bed because it is late. But um, I enjoyed that, honestly. It's um, it's pretty cool. Um, I think that would be a good one to play through. It's it's not like... I don't think this story will probably be super amazing. But I think a lot of it will be in the actual gameplay. Because the gameplay actually is quite fun. And I like the idea that you've got a leveling up system as well. And blueprints. That's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty different. Pretty interesting. It's more like cyberpunk or something like that. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed in this really nice comfy bed right here and read my geek magazine and uh, maybe put the candle on, maybe do an end move. Uh, I've got some ravioli and some, uh, I don't know what they are. They look like little sausages, like chiplatas or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I've got some water in there, hopefully. So, yeah, I'm good. So, without further ado, thank you very much, and um, i tell you what, I'll probably combine this into a two-part, so uh, yeah, I won't say my farewell just yet, I'll say be right back. Aha, greetings everyone, it's me, as you can see, I just woke up from this lovely, lovely bed, we've been playing darts, um, you know, pretty, pretty good stuff, but yeah, um, You'll have to forgive me. It's been a while since I've played this. But we'll get back into it. We'll we'll understand the controls. Right. You awake? Something bad happened. We need to talk. Okay, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Whoa, what's this? Cooperative mode. You've completed the prologue and co-op mode is now available. Press escape. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't know that. You can play with other people in co-op. That's a really cool feature. Like, you know, it's not one for me. I don't really play with uh, other people. That, but, you know, if you have got friends who play, then that's, uh, that's a really cool feature. I like that. More games should have that, honestly. Okay, here we are. Gosh, I don't remember any controls at all. I don't even know how to get my weapon out. But, you know, we'll figure it out, yeah? New outfits in the stash. Is this a stash? Ah, there's our weapons. Backpack, outfits. Oh, wow. Okay, I've got some weird old outfits here. Oh, I like that. Urban Explorer. Let's wear that. Reminds me of uh, the line, Spec Ops, that we just played. So, yeah. Badlands outfit. Fresh clothes. Yeah. The... That's just weird. That's like Ninja Crash Test Dummy Outfit. Also, pet. Okay, let's do Urban Explorer. Looks good. Even though it, it doesn't really make a difference because you never see your character, I guess. But, you know, it's, it's all about looking stylish. Uh, talk to Spike. Where is Spike? That is... Whoa, Jesus. Spike. Spike is miles away. Place waypoint. Okay, let's go. Whoa, that was cool. It was like a... Um, reminded me of Team Fortress Classic where you slide up bunny hop in the ramps and stuff. Okay. Can't remember how to like... There we go. Uh, I might just turn the FOV up, uh, down a little bit, or up, whatever you call it, up, field of view. Let's put it on 100. Yeah, that's a bit better. I like it when it, there's you can see more on your screen. don't like it when it's like too zoomed in. Okay. Just wanted to, you know, get back to business. Let's get down to business. That one's on fire. Hello. <laughs> oh no, ran out of stam stam stamina. Oh 
car. What's that? I it like went into like X-ray mode. It's never done that. That was a random. Okay, can we jump in here? Yeah. Keep the distance from Rises, man. They just is that spike? Crane. First of all, you did great out there. From now on, if you need something, come see me. And to start with, use a UV flashlight and a remote control. You run up on a volatile, give him a face full of UV, or lead him into a trap which you can trigger with that remote. You got it? Got it. Perfect. Now for the bad news. Despite your efforts, Brecken's mission failed. Ah, oh, shit, is he okay? He's alive. But you need to get back to the tower. Jay called all the scouts in, and that means you. Okay. You level up. Survivor pa uh, point. How do I do my survivor points? I forgot. Gosh, I forgot all the buttons. Here we go. Blueprint skills. Survivor rank. What we got? So we can go left to backpack. Learn how to use space in your backpack more efficiently. Or boosters. Learn how to use like boosters which give you fight without getting tired or run faster. That's probably better. Although backpack space would be good. Can't go down. Oh, that requires level four. Boosters have much longer effect. Uh, let's do the backpack, maybe. Yeah, backpack. Backpack, backpack. There we go. Okay. So, where are we going now? Over here, report meeting tower. So he's up in this building. <laughs> Lockpick. Hello. Uh, Crane here. Report. I'm about to have a meeting with the tower's leader. Acknowledged. Confirm his identity and contact us immediately. Ooh, blade. Ooh, some alcohol, lovely, and a pouch. Cheeky pouch. Okay, this is the safe zone. You can't trust anyone in this world. There's something on my map, right here. You see on the map at the top right, there's like a weird, like spiky looking thing. Oh, maybe that just means. Ah, oh, bounties. Collect knowing your enemy. Go to the entrance. Okay, guess we'll accept these. Elevator up. Brecken's mission failed. Jade called a meeting in the tower. It's my opportunity to finally meet with Brecken and confirm his identity. Oh yeah, let's confirm his identity. Also, just going to turn the sound up a tiny bit on the oh, speeches max. I can just turn just a little bit, just a little bit. Good job out there, 31. Uh, I mean, Crane, right? Yeah, it's me. Trade. Sell. Like, with this stuff, is that just valuables? I guess valuables is just what you sell, right? Probably. I uh, don't see any other point. Then we've got all that crafting stuff. Um, I might sell the green items. I don't think we need them. Keep them. Buy. 
Ah, oh, I'd like to have those. That'd be cool. Good old baseball bat. Okay, cool. We sold some items. Let's go. Crane. Whoa. Ugh, Listen, scary. Reckon and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to biters, and then Rise's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp, and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him. And you've got to back me up, okay? For God's Deal. sake! You can't even walk straight! We need you alive, you idiot! Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jade, who's your friend? Ah, uh, British or Australian. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. New Zealand. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing. Homelander. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right. Yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just... Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right. You need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Oh, hell. Maybe one more try before we go to Rice. Or is he South African? Okay, fine. He's going to be a bad guy, 100%. Good luck, Crane. This was like around Jade. A moment. Sure. One Head second. The I'll be in touch shortly. This is around the kind of time. Look, there's something else we need to discuss. Brecken was hurt pretty bad out there. Worse than he wants people to know. He took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any Lora tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. And the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named Ghazi. He's not altogether there, if you mm -hmm. know what I mean. His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She died. Two years ago, but Ghazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Ghazi can be very insistent. So, they kept giving it to him. You think he's been stockpiling it all this time? If he hasn't, I don't know where else we're going to get it from. Ghazi lives under the overpass. And don't mention his mother's death. He won't understand. Okay, do not mention his mother's death. Um, what was I saying? So, there was like um, a phase when uh, District, what was it called? District 9? District 11? The one with the prawns and the aliens, the prawn aliens, where lots of movies after that and video games always incorporated using... Um, south african or british or like aussie as like the kind of uh well you know the bad guys in a lot of stuff where do i go how do i get down from here is there it wasn't up the stairs was it or was it maybe it was sick bay headquarters bedroom I like the way they've labelled everything. Right, cool. Can I jump off here, I wonder? Mm, hmm, maybe not. I'm just wondering if there's like a cool way down, you know, like a like parachute or something. Probably not. Don't want to kill myself. But yeah, so 100% that guy's going to turn out to be a bad guy, isn't he? It's like... What's going on here? Bayer's locked himself in the room. We could hear him screaming. He may have turned. You hear that? I can't get this lock. You want to try it? Oh, yeah, a bit of pit locking. My favorite. Okay. Oh, 
gosh, I can't remember how to do it. Ah, there you go. Yeah, I've done it, bro. He's good. But here, you in here? Help me. Be here? Are you here? Are you be here? Be here? Tell me what's wrong. I can't move. My chest feels like it's going to explode. Are you turning? No, no. I took antizin and the pain started. Ugh. The vial is on the floor. What you took is junk. What? It's fake. Where did you get this from, Bahir? Please, I need a doctor. First, tell me who sold you that. I can't, I promised. This guy is very useful. He brings me things from the outside. Yeah, like phony antizin? People could be giving this to their kids. You want them to go through this? No! God, no! Then tell me who sold it to you. Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. He lives on the roof. Okay, I'll get Dr. Lena. Okay. Please, hurry! Anything in here for me to loot? No? Shame. What happened? Did you kill him? What? No. Look, he's not turning, but he needs a doctor. I thought he was turning. We should still keep an eye on him. If he needs a doctor, you should get the doctor. Okay. Uh, I don't know where the doctor is. Look, I've got to get out of here. I need to get my wife and kids somewhere safe. You know, it seems to me this is about the only safe place there is. <sighs> Safest place in the slums, maybe. But the slums aren't safe. It's no place for my family. And I found a way out. You mean out of the slums? I can't tell you the details, but I need to get across town, and I can't do it without a gun. If you'll get me one, I'll tell you about a place that hasn't been looted yet. I promise you won't regret it. Well, how do you know this place hasn't been looted? Because there's only one person that has access to this place, and you're looking at him. Bring me a gun, and the key is yours, as well as everything you find there. Hmm. Fair play. I like the sound of that. I don't know if it's a good idea to give him a gun, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I don't know where I'm going, honestly. Uh, that guy said he lives on the roof, so maybe let's search the roof for this phony scout. Where will he be? <laughs> this is the roof. Hmm, I don't see anyone up here. Unless he's across the crane over that roof, maybe. But no, otherwise they'd say he lives on the roof across the way. Where is this geezer? Look, there's a drop. Oh, shy so There's a... Oh, I thought that was like a zip line thing you could go down. Apparently not. Maybe I'm not meant to find this scout yet. Maybe come into it later. Okay, whatever. So we'll come back to that guy later. For now, let's just uh, head on down and out. Carry on with the main quest. Oh, maybe that's him there. I didn't even see this geezer. No? Oh, wait, that's that's that guy. It's the guy who gave us the tutorial. Why is he just sitting there being a Billy No Mates, not talking to me? Okay, gosh. Hardest part of this game is figuring out how to get freaking downstairs, isn't it? Down we go, down we go. Okay, sick bay, no. Toilet, no. Don't know what that is. That's just a random... Oh, that's the room I started in. How the freak do I get down? Am I missing something here? Where was the elevator? Is it on this floor? Oh, wait. Guards? I don't want to use a guitar. That's just random. Ah, here it is. Okay. 
Gosh, I will get the hang of this place eventually. Maybe. Maybe not, who knows? Maybe it's never meant to be. With most of the runners out of action, Brecken wants the scouts to take their place. That means me. We're supposed to go for the next airdrop right before sunset. Jade will be showing me the ropes. Yeah, that won't be awkward at all. <laughs> True that. True that, homeboy. It will be awkward. But awkward's our middle name. Okay. How do we get out? Here we go. Very bad. Very bad. Okay, leaving safe zone. Right. Uh, I'm just going to quickly take a break, get a coffee. I will be right back. Hello, hello. I am back. Uh, let's get to it. Let's get down to business. Strange sounds. Okay. There's like a graphics uh, mod I installed. Like it just changes the coloring slightly so it's not as like washed out yellow. I'll try it with this for a bit. We'll see how it runs and stuff because the FPS might drop a little bit, but we'll see. Okay, so up here. I think the FPS is all right. It's hard to hard to say honestly. It's like a little bit darker though, I think as well. Crane here. Report. Tower boss is named Brecken, and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically. Local guy. Calls himself Rise. He's hoarding Antizen and then gouging the hell out of anybody who wants to buy some. I'm on a mission to get Antizen from the airdrop. If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. Acknowledged. Good job, Crane. You're doing well. Stay on task, and we'll be in touch. Be sure to call us immediately if and when you get that Antizen. I was just looking. What do you reckon those crows are? Do you reckon there's something over there? And maybe the crows indicate there's something there that I should go and see. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's some place to avoid. We'll see. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. I think it's just a little bit darker because it is... Um... Getting night time. You there. I could use some fucking help. Oh, okay. Oh. Nice, got one. Let's make sure there's no one behind me. Oh no. Ah. Gosh, this takes so long to kill him. He went down. I'll never forget what you do. Some of them go down a lot easier than others. Oh, I got 91 cash for that. stuck. I think when it gets night time that's when all the zombies like get a lot harder as well to be fair. Probably gain like more stamina, speed, stuff like that. There's a big guy, it's one of them ones again. Don't know if I want to fight one of them again, to be fair. Not anytime soon, anyway. Oh, 
What's that? Activate light trap. Huh. Oh. It like sets them on fire. That's pretty cool. I had no idea about that. Question is, can I get down here without dying? Whoa. Yes and no. Oh, Jesus. Get off me. Oh, he's still alive. No, surely. Climb up, climb up. Why won't he die? That guy's taking the biscuit, isn't he? Seriously. What am I meant to do with that? Oh, is he dead, finally? No, he's still going. Now he's dead. No, he's still going. Oh, Jesus, that thing. Oh. Oh, finally. That was intense, wasn't it? Uh, ten pit. Oh, what have we got? Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. It's like a safe house there. Exactly in that area. Gosh. Oh, it's from behind me. Oh, nice. Oh, not nice. There we go. Why won't these bugs die? <laughs> Weapon hold R to repair it. Okay, repaired the weapon. Jeez, there is. So I, I forget you have to repair weapons. That's one thing I'm not particularly a fan of is having to repair weapons and stuff. It's not my bag. So I think the FPS runs a little bit better like this, to be honest. I think there's one on the roof or something. Come on, die. Why are they so strong? Okay, it's safe now. Okay, uh, what can we do with stash? I guess just put all of that in there, backpack valuables. Can't sleep now. Bounties. Okay. Agility level up. What can we get? Slide. Grapple. Use the movement of attacking enemies to 
throw them around with enemy treasures. Uh, I like the slide, honestly, because I've been wanting to do that a few times, but it just crouches, so that'd be good. Um, I'm not sure what it wants me to do. Uh, look for the airdrop in the cauldron. Okay, so this is cauldron. Probably up here would be the best place to see it. Can't see any. Ah, it's probably that thing with the parachute. Okay, let's head over there. And there's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. This way. Whoa, definitely not this way. Hmm. Come on. This poor bastard. One second. Here we go. What's in here? Oh dear. Nothing here. Oh, another one. Did you see that? Yeah. Two. Oh. They landed you know where that's gone, don't you? They're not that far away. Get to those crates before anyone else does. That has gone right next to that huge zombie. Guaranteed. We open this one now. Yeah, we did. Cool. over that way apparently or did it go on the other side of this oh let's have a look it looks like it might have actually gone over here Kate rice's men got here first Fuck. okay don't try to fight them just find the second one look for the smoke from the flare the crate should be close by that oh. I don't know if I want to fight them to be fair be bad for business Crane, it's too close to sunset you need to turn back now no I'm almost there I can do this 
Oh, there we go. Slide works now. That's cool. I think it'll just mean I can get away quicker, like slide under little uh, hob me dods and stuff, you know? Oops. Gosh, I'm not very good at this, am I? Let's try again. There we go. I haven't met a carrier or that though. Crane here. I'm about to recover an antizen drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing Antizen, destroy it. What? What? what why It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. Hmm. Seems like I'm working for the bad guys, doesn't it? No, surely not. That ain't good. We're the bad guy. Jade, I'm at the airdrop. There's no antis in here. Done? Fuck. Fuck! All right. Get back here and be careful. The nightmares are awake. Don't let them see. Oh, shit. They must have heard me. What is that? Oh, hello. Time to run. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm being chased. Skill points are doubled during night. Uh, oh, God. It's gaining on me. It's right behind me. Oh. I don't know if it's worth fighting them, to be fair. What's that? Ah, oh, they can't go in... Oh, they can go in water. Seriously, what? Okay. Let's try that again. Where am I? Uh, so what, it's giving me another chance? Or what? Or has it just gone back in time? So if you can see on my map, there's ones with like vision uh, indicators. So these are the ones I have to avoid, I think. Because if I get spotted by them, I think that's almost game over. Uh, and these are those light traps. So I think if I do get chased, I use them to... Oh, sugar. That was close. To get rid of them. So I made it back on the second try. <laughs> hey, 
hey honeys, I'm home. Some of them are clean. Why don't they let them go? I made it in one piece. Now I know how Brecken must have felt running at night. Yeah, that wasn't wasn't fun. Brecken, come on. I mean, we need Anderson. I know, but buying from Rise, you can't be serious. For God's sakes, I'll go. I'm not scared. Absolutely not. We've discussed that already. We didn't discuss it. You just decided that I'll I... go. Are you serious? Well, this Rice guy has never seen my face before. Clean slate, right? Could you guys give Crane and me the room, please? You sure you're up for this? Has to be done, doesn't it? Well, I'm not gonna argue. Race's place is over here. Just find out what this will cost us and come back in one piece. Okie dokie. Oh, we leveled up or? Yeah, survival rank. Let's see what we got. Uh, survival. Arta, get better at haggling. Elemental throwing stars. Hmm. Trap bombs, haggle. So that's all with that. Ah, uh, I guess haggle. Why not? Get better prices and stuff. Okay. You better have a look at this. The lot number's wrong. Is this a fake? Someone on 21 took it, and now he can't even get off the floor. Aman, get down to 21 now. Where did he get it from? Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. Well, he can't be producing it here. Someone's supplying him. I'll have a talk with Yusuf. The sooner, the better. Don't hurt him. <laughs> Talk to him. Can't make any promises. Okay, uh... By Anderson from Race. Let's go do that. If I can remember, I need to remember what floor is the way down, to be honest. It's not the bottom, so it's like this one with the headquarters. Yes, it is. Brecken is so desperate, he's ready to deal with the devil himself. Rise. Okay, out we go again. Or should we sell some stuff first, maybe? Uh, short, simple knife. Oh, that's just... I can't sell to him. Oh, whatever. Crane, can you hear me? It's still night time. Yeah, I copy. Something wrong? No, no, it's... Um... Listen, Crane, we all appreciate what you're doing. And I know you're doing it to redeem yourself. Because Amir died saving your life. Look, I'm doing it because if we don't get Antis in from Rice, people will start to die. You know, I met Amir right after the outbreak. I didn't know him for that long, but... He was the best, most decent man I've ever known. But I just want you to know that I don't blame you. Amir knew the risk. And Crane, we know that you too are taking a risk to do this for us. I... Look, Jade, we'll talk when I get back with the Antizen, okay? Okay. Just... Just come back in one piece, alright? Can't make any promises, but I'll try. Hmm. I want to get in there because the lights are on, which indicates there might be something in there. Oops. What the hell? 
What is this place? It's Crane, right? Crane the big shot? Crane the superstar? You know what I think? I think Brecken blows your skills way out of proportion. You want something, pal? Yes. It drives me up the wall that people consider you. Oh no, it's going to be a freaking runner. I don't want to do a running competition. You can bugger off. Oops, there's an old uh, train track there. Oh. Ow. It seems that they're not like too, um, like they take a moment to spot you and actually lock onto you, which is quite good. So you're not like constantly being chased. I guess on the harder modes, they lock on a lot faster, maybe. Anything here? There's a few things I'm not a fan of. Uh, oh, this is one of them. The lock picking is just, I don't know. Oh, for Christ almighty. I don't know. Lock picking is just, it feels like a bit of a time waster. It's like not really satisfying at all. Um... The other thing is the stamina. It's like, I get it, but it's more annoying than it is fun. But I guess, you know, as you level up, it gets better. Make sure they see you and know who you are. You don't want to sneak up on them. That's a good way to catch a bullet. Wish me luck, kid. Good luck, brother. You're going to need it. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Hands up! What the fuck do you want? I'm here to see Rice. Brecken sent me. Brecken? That asshole in the tower? All right, what does he want? I've come to make a deal. <laughs> what kind of deal? The kind I make with Rice, not with his flunkies. All right, let him through. This ought to be entertaining. How long have we been friends, Osman? We have been friends for a very long time. That is why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Now I give you a choice. Very simple. Your right hand or your left. Left! That was his right, no? Was that my left or your left? Ah, yeah, what a douchebag. <laughs> You have the look of the tower about you. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Karim. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some fantasy. Understood? Understood. Seem to have a choice. Perceptive. Can I take that? I don't want to swap the actual weapon, though. God damn it. How? Good sake. Let's do weed now for dust or wrench drop. Okay, now we can pick it up. Okay, there we go. So what, that's it? I met Rice, and Jade's right. He's a psychopath. He is? He is a psychopath. 
Fortress. There you are. Rai said you'd be coming by. I'm Karim. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from <laughs> Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. And if I do this, I'll get the antis in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. Roger that. Let's go, let's go. You need to join? Just met a guy named Kareem. He's like Rice's major domo, I guess. Major domo? Executus. Too soon. Okay. Out we go, I guess. <coughs> Which way was the way out? Where's that hole in the thing? Where did I come in? Maybe here? There we go. Okay. Uh, let's go, let's go. Knight survived. Oh look, they're running back to their... wherever they live. Interesting. Hmm. How do I get up here? Probably just run up here. Lock picking, lock picking. We don't have to do it, but we kind of do. What am I looking for here exactly? Something in this one. No? Something on top of this? Huh. Crane. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No, he thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. Crane out. Okay. So this is why they were all flying. It's just like a rubbish tip. Wonder if there's anything there to loot. Probably not. Okay. Let's test out this new weapon. Whoa, what is that? Whoa. Oh, wow. Okay. That's going to draw some zombies, though. Hey, Al Capone. You ready to do this? What exactly am I doing? in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal so Rise can communicate with Atlas in the far reaches of town. Well, that's a benefit for everyone, not just Rise. Perhaps, but the Emperor must monitor his Oh, they're attacking me as well. They're his guys. Oh, 
Get bitten. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna put your fucking hand on. Why do they take so much killing? It's insane. Come on, don't give up now. Oh, look at that. Oh wait, there's a prisoner though. I need to save him. This is it for you. Strong. I'm on like 8 HP. I haven't got any health packs. I just wanted to save the prisoner, that's all. I need some health. Maybe in the petrol station. It's usually stuff in petrol stations now. Wait, do I need to craft stuff, like, to make health? I can make some stuff. Water. Gas pipe modified. It's like electrified. I've like electrified it. That's cool. Cool. But that's anything I'm not a fan of. It just takes. Okay, not the only thing. There's a lot of things I'm not a fan of. Why are these basketball players? All of them. They're just uh, like too strong. You know, like if you. Look how much I'm freaking whacking them. I don't know. Maybe it's realistic because I guess a head doesn't just explode on one hit when you hit it, but I don't know. You just hope for a little bit more, I think. First aid, here we go. Can I craft a medikit? Medikit too, here we go. Okay, now we can go back against those. Other geezers. Where were they? Can't even remember where they were. First aid. Oh, nice. He was having a good old takeaway of blood. This is electrified. They're electrified. <laughs> Don't want to muck with them, probably. 
I have unspent skill points where oh here power kick stun multi throw let's do kick stun how do I do this then there must be a way to turn that off That's weird. Kareem, I'm at the first antenna. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. No, oh, of course there's a big geezer, isn't there? Oh, what is that? Hello, hello. I'm very sorry about that, but my game uh, crashed there. Shouting because this fucked up infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth just spit a bunch of toxic snot at me. Not a bad reason. Not a bad reason. Okay, so. I think we're undetected at the moment, so let's go for this. Oh, never mind. Oh, a claw hammer. That sounds good. Okay, nice. That's cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I like that a lot. Okay, so. Um, let's see. Where's that hammer? Claw hammer. 46 damage. That's nice. That's better than what we got. Okay, cool. So, we need to get rid of that guy. I wonder, can I craft a Molotov and just throw it at him? So this, this is how you add like electricity to your stuff. We haven't got enough of that. Molotov, Molotov. Oh, Molotov, we can. Okay. Okay, perfect. Let's make another. Okay, and make a med kit as well. Make two med kits. Okay. So, uh, I can't remember how to throw the Molotovs, though. Okay, that's kick. Thing is, I don't want to waste it. Whoa. Cheeky bugger. Okay. Gosh, what was... I'm just pushing all the buttons here. Oh, that was health. I did not need to do that. Oh, what is the grenade button? One sec. Maybe I can quickly look in options. Controls. Configuration. Oh, key bindings. Here we go. Actions. Survivor. Grapple. Reload. Use equipment, middle mouse button. How do I swap equipment then? Previous equipment. Ah, okay. So numbers. Let's say do that. Ah, Molotov. Here we go. Okay. I think we'll save the Molotovs for the big guy. We'll try just doing this guy. I think this is the way you got to do it. Just like attack and then, you know, where do you go? Oh, he's down here. If I can bring that big guy and him to the same location. Get off me. That would be perfect. And then I can just Molotov them. Here we go. Oh, he's running away. Try this. Okay, that didn't do an awful lot. Oh, what happened there? I need to sort out that little spitting geezer. Let's get him. Oh, we got him? Nice. That wasn't too bad. Oh. 
Is that that big guy? Is he dead, is he? Oh. Oh, gosh. I did not know they could do that. Gosh. Um, this is the thing. It's like it's very difficult to know really what to do with all these. We've got the light. We've got throwing stars. Oh. Oh, my God. How? Come on. That's cheating. Oh man, what was that? Freaking car exploded behind me. What's going on? Yeah, she's dead. Oh man, it's, they're everywhere. Maybe just lure them away. I think, I don't know if it improves, but the zombies in this game are just so hard to kill that I don't actually think it's worth killing a lot of them. It's more worth just avoiding them. Oh, one's going to attack me. Yeah, she's dead. There we go. Okay, and you? Oh! Gosh, when you get out of here. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, god damn it. I've caught myself in like a pleb. Oh. Okay, do not go in there. Do not go in there. This UV light does nothing to these ones. So, all we've got is throwing stars. Okay. Okay, these do some damage to the little ones. Oh. But they don't kill them. Well, they do. Okay, powered up. Come on. These ones are just impossible to kill, really. Oh, what's this guy? Maybe I can lure him here and explode this. Where's my hammer gone? Oh my god. There it is. Oh god, that's going to explode. Nice. Oh wow, look at him. Okay, repair the hammer. I looking for here not this oh can he not get in no he can he can very much get in oh what's that I'm on fire oh did I get him finally big geezers down Fucking on. Good. Now head up to the top. Okay. This is. I, I really don't like this lock picking. It's so annoying and it takes too long. It'd be nice if you could just get a skill to like bypass lock picking and just brute force it or something. Okay, that was pretty cool. I like that. Um. So we need, now need to climb that tower. See, this is the thing that I'm wondering is does the is the game purposely like making you like not good against zombies at this stage and like in the future you'll become 
better because they, they're just too difficult to kill, you know? But I don't know if you need to kill them to like keep leveling up your power and weapons and stuff. But yeah, whatever. Maybe it will get easier to kill them in the future. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Because it's like a, it's got an RPG format to it that you level up and essentially get stronger. So in theory, it should become easier to kill zombies and stuff like that. Did we get a skill point there? Yeah, we did. Agility. Drop kick. That sounds cool. Vault. Jump over enemies. I like the drop kick. Use the movement of attacking enemies to throw them around. I think drop kick sounds really cool. Let's take that. Power. What we got here? Sternus. You're able to absorb more damage. Melee throw. Throw any melee weapons at enemy. Multi throw. Lock up onto three enemies with throwing weapons. That might be good because we've just really got into throwing. So let's let's try that. Um. But yeah, the other thing is, I think we need to learn more about crafting and upgrading sort of thing. Because like this hammer, for example, that's really good. So, you know. How do I upgrade it? Uh, F6. That's a proper random uh, thing. Empty socket. Damage. Handling durability. So maybe let's do that. Confirm upgrade. Okay. These. Can you upgrade these? No. Just drop. Brick hammer. 43. That's 39, 48, 39. So like with this, dismantle. We can just dismantle the stuff with like crap damage, I think. Just to get items. There we go. Oh. Oh my god, I almost died. I need to be more careful. Okay, let's try this again. Can I, um, I haven't got a health kit. Can I medic it? No, lockpicks, firecrackers. Yeah, I've got a feeling that it's kind of like, um, the game will ease you into it and make you stronger sort of thing. I need to learn how to do that drop kick as well. Batteries. Climb up here. Airdrop stolen. Oh, okay, so there's like, uh airdrops that you can essentially where's that ladder like the hatch is off so what I climb up here <coughs> okay so it looks like doing some climbing here can I oh, there we go Oh man, what am I doing? This is... Oh my god, this is insane. Uh, I don't know where I go. I'm like a bit stuck here. Maybe I can climb this now? Ah, here we go. Oh man, this is... Oh, you can climb this. I didn't realise you could climb it. That would have made it a lot easier. There's a zombie up here. Oh. Lol. Splat. Ah, I was hoping for a big old, you know, corpse explosion there sort of thing. But it was just a underwhelming flop to the ground. That was quite a distance up, I tell you that. Uh, how do we get up this bit? Okay. Okay. Six bucks. What are we going here? Power cable. Cigarettes. If I throw this off the roof, will it explode on impact? No. Uh, so what am I meant to do here exactly, I wonder? Oh, 
flag. Lots of food up here. Should take some of that. Might come in handy. I don't understand what I'm meant to be doing. Like, it says turn on the transmitter. Is the transmitter on the previous floor or something? Oh man, we are so going to die in a second if this carries on. Where's this transmitter then? Like, surely the transmitter would be at the very top. What am I missing here? And why does this keep spawning back every time? What is this about? Like, look, as soon as I throw it off, it will reappear shortly. Watch. Maybe look away. Yeah, see, it's back. What is, what is that about? Honestly, how do you turn this transmitter on? It says it's down, so maybe it is down. I'm on two health. That is really not good. How do you climb down without killing yourself then? Is the transmitter here? Maybe this thing. Ah. Oh shit. Kareem, someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Fuck, I was afraid of that. All right, head to the next antenna tower. It's not too far from there. You're joking. Just use the zip line and head east. You'll see it. Zip line? Oh, thank God there's a zip line. I was hoping I'd... I mean, I was worried that I'd have to climb all the way back down. Okay, you know what? This is a nice place to leave it, I think. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you think of this game, because... Mm, I'm not a hundred percent sold on it. I am enjoying it. Um, I think it's interesting and I kind of, uh, I'll give you a quick summary of what I like and what I don't like. I like the, the graphics are nice. The, uh, the overall combat is nice. Uh, the movement is nice, the parkour and stuff. The only thing I'm not a fan of is the weapons currently feel really, really, uh, like underwhelming, like, a little bit they're, they're not powerful enough essentially they're they're like very feels like you're hitting them with a foam like you know you know do you do you remember at fairgrounds you got them big inflatable like hammers and stuff and uh baseball bats and you could just whack your whoever your friends or your kids or whatever with them and like you know it, it feels like i'm mostly whacking them with these and it's just they're dying out of pure boredom or something like that um, but I'm hoping that that will improve as it goes on. The other thing I really don't like is the lock picking. I think that is just so, ah, uh, it's not needed. It's, or at least make the lock picking a little bit rarer because it seems like every single box has a lock pick on it. That's very annoying. Um, the, the tech tree, like for the moment, the tech tree, most of it is underwhelming, like uh, in this section, in the survivor, like that's very boring and underwhelming sort of thing the agility i like the i like this this is cool this i feel will make the biggest difference because this is all kind of like you know special moves and uh stuff like that that's cool uh the power mm, you know could be good uh kick stun multiple i i think this could be fun power attack stuff like that this is going to help kill those zombies a lot faster legend i don't know what that is um Story seems pretty good. It's interesting that you're playing as the bad guy. Um, what else? Uh, the nighttime is really cool. That's actually quite intense and scary when all those zombies come about. I like that. Um, the climbing is a bit, I don't know, it feels like Assassin's Creed that they just thought, ah, let's make it like Assassin's Creed and get you to climb everywhere and stuff. So hopefully there's not too much climbing of that sort of stuff. Um, the crafting. Oh, the crafting I like. I like the idea of the crafting. The only thing I'm not a fan of is it's quite clunky that, you know, you have to go into this menu. You have to, like, manually click everything you want to, like, you know, do. It would be nice if you could just do it from a little sub menu or something, like, on the actual game UI. Um, the, the other thing I'm really not a fan of is the durability on weapons. I'm just not a fan of that in any game. 
I don't mind if it's like really like these weapons will take a really long time to decay and dissolve and like, you know, drop their durability. But, you know, the the speed of which these weapons go down is like really fast and it's quite, quite annoying. But I'm hoping again, maybe that will improve in the future when your weapons get stronger and stuff like that. So, yeah, it is what it is. Um, is it a perfect game? No. Is it a semi-perfect maybe i don't know it's uh it's somewhere in the middle for me at the moment but i i would like to carry on maybe so let me know what you think did you enjoy this game what do you like about it what you don't like uh would you like to see another episode of this game or would you prefer me to maybe hop in and try a different game we've got a lot of other games to try as well so you know it's not like we're compelled to carry this one on but if you if you're enjoying it i don't mind playing more of it so Without further ado, thank you very much for watching. Hope you had a lovely time. And uh, I look forward to joining you next time on um, Sharpest Productions, playing whatever game we may play. So, without further ado, thank you very much for watching. Hope you had a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or a good night. And I shall see you next time. I've been Sharpie Piss Potato. You've been you. Thank you very much. And peace. Happy Productions!